Hello everyone, this is Linda Israel and this is day 11 of the 12 days of junk journal gift ideas. I'm going to make a needle book and I'm using the few of the digital images from the Exquisite Dreamers junk journal kit. So I'm going to use this piece I know for sure and I'll probably pick up a couple more here in just a moment. Then I also have, this is a pocket piece that you can put onto a journal. I've printed it as a full eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and I went ahead and trimmed it from the parent sheet. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some distress ink to go around the edges. If you are new to what I am doing, this is part of the 12 days of junk journal gift ideas and there are multiple of us that are creating videos. So definitely check out the description box below for the other videos as well as the playlist that I have created to see lots of ideas to give as gifts for the Christmas holidays or maybe even for birthdays or special events. So I've decided that my needle book, which is basically a book to hold little needles and sometimes little scraps of thread, would be kind of cute to add to a journal or put in a card. And what I've done is I've got the printed piece here and then I had a scrap of cardstock that is 11 by four and a half, I think. Let me measure that for you approximately by four and a half and it was just because it was laying on my desk that's why I'm using it I could have made it taller but I don't know I think I, I kind of like the quirkiness of that on there so I've added some distress inks here I think what I want to do next is on the inside of this I want to add some stenciling with some tattered angels glimmer mist so I'm grabbing out my Moroccan stencil and I'm going to lay that across the page here and get it straight. All right and then I've got some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in Pink Poodle. I'm just going to spritz it all over and then I'm going to take it out and I'll dry it with my heat tool for just a moment. I decided while I was at it because part of this is going to be seen on the front I'm just going to spritz across the top and that'll kind of blend this to the inside and make that a little bit darker pink. So this is going to become a folded over piece. So it'll fold like that. And I think what I want to do is I want to have a tie that comes off this side before I adhere everything down. I'm going to take a piece of ribbon. I'm not going to trim it. I'm just going to lay it in here and glue it down. So I'm just going to make a little line and adhere that down right there. And I think the next thing I want to do is just go ahead and adhere these two pieces together. I thought about making this a pocket on the front. You can if you want, but I think I want the stability of this being glued down solid. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to add glue right around the perimeter and then do a zigzag down the middle. Oh, I don't need glue up there. I almost glued it together wrong because I turned it over. <laughs> So I'm just going to use my bone folder to help mush that glue out and get these adhered together. I've got another scrap of paper here that I thought what I would do is attach it to the bottom here and then this can become a little pocket to hold some things on the inside. So I'm just kind of looking at this. Or maybe what I'll do is make it like a belly band. I think that's what I'll do. I'll, so I'll make it like a belly band and then things can slip in and out of it. So what I'm going to do is adhere it down over here and over here. But I'm going to do something else first. Sometimes I have to think this through to figure out what's going to work the best. So I'm going to fold this so that I have little flaps coming in. So I'm going to find the center of this 11 inch piece, which is five and a half. 
and I'm going to center this is a four inch tag so I'm going to center that on either side of there so I know that I want to fold these sides in so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to lay my ruler over here I've got my scoring tool so I'm going to look at this and then just a smidge past my journaling card so I have room for this to fold shut. I'm going to score and that will be my fold line and then I'm going to do the same thing over here just a little bit past my card trying to make it as straight as possible. Come back this way a little bit. This was the card that I made on day nine, so I've added this to it. I didn't have that in the video, but I added it after the fact. All right, so now I'm going to fold this over, kind of crease it. So then this would wrap around, and you can kind of pull it through like that. So see how that's going to close on here? So let's undo that. So now I've got an idea of how I want this to go together. I'm going to go ahead and distress these edges. Alright, so that's going to fit there in the middle. And I, I know it doesn't really go necessarily with a needle book but I thought it might be kind of interesting to have in a little book like this because you could write notes about whatever you're working on or give this as a gift to help someone else. Right now I'm just taking that strip and I'm going to cut it the same length as my cover and then I'm going to add glue. I'm going to add glue here and here and then I'm going to go right in the crease here so it doesn't flop around on me okay so I'm just going to line this up I'm going to use my bone folder to press where that crease is Alright, we're going to let that dry for a moment because you don't want to move this too soon while your glue is drying. Alright, so I've cut a piece of cardstock that is 4 inches by 4 inches and I folded it in half. So now I have a 2 inch by 4 inch piece. I'm going to quickly go around the edges with some Distress ink. Then I have a piece of quilt batting because that's what I have, but you could use a piece of felt. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sew right down the center on my sewing machine. You could sew it by hand, but I want to sew it on my machine. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've sewn right down the center of this, so that's going to hold my little piece of batting. You could also, like I said, use a piece of fun uh, felt in there. So that's inside, and then I cut a piece of one of my gel prints that is just slightly under two inches, under two by four. I'm going to adhere that on the front. I've already added distress ink around it. I have a piece of cheesecloth here. I thought it would be kind of pretty to spray that with some of the same Tattered Angels. So I'm just going to lay it in my spray box and spray that. And then I'll use my heat tool to dry it just a little bit. Nice thing about cheesecloth is it dries relatively quickly, so I'm just going to lay this down in here. I'm going to put a little bit of glue behind the cheesecloth, like so. And then I've got one of the little tickets, and I'm going to go ahead and just adhere this completely down on the front of this little cover of my little needle book. Isn't that cute? Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some a needle to the needle book. You got to have a needle. And I'll add a couple of straight pins as well. So let's pick out a couple of pretty straight pins. 
And I think, oh yes, I have a safety pin in here, so I'll add a safety pin. That's always handy. Okay, so this is going to go in here. And then this is going to go in the center. I may have to finagle it just a little bit, but I think I can get it to go. I'm kind of stretching that paper just a little bit. And that'll fit down in there. And then I had a couple of these little embroidery floss pieces that were given to me. And I thought those would be kind of cute to stick right there. So then if I fold this over, I think my, my glue did come undone. I'm going to put a little glue on this side. And then I'm going to fold this in, creasing it. And we'll slide this in here. Fold that in. Fold that in. And then I'll wrap this around. I got a knot in my ribbon, so I'm going to undo it. <laughs> there. Okay. I'm going to cut off the excess just a little bit. But I'm not done yet, so give me just a moment and I'll show you what else I'm going to do. All right, so if you saw my day 10. I believe that's right because this is day 11. You saw that I made a tassel and I kind of hooked it on by just slipping it around here. You could also hook it onto this ribbon like so so that it hangs off a little bit more. But I think I like the way that I had originally did it. So I'm going to do that again. And I'm just going to slip it over both ribbons. I'm not going to attach it through the ribbon but just slip it over and then that way you can undo this ribbon just by unwinding it like so and open up the journal and now we have the little rib uh, thread over here we've got a cute little journaling card in the middle we have the needle book on this side with a few extra things you could sew some buttons uh, add more things I just hope it gives you an idea of what you could do to give a gift to someone that maybe they like to sew and having a little needle book that's kind of fun. You can stand it up on the desk and just kind of decorative and pretty. I don't know. Just kind of neat, I think. So we're going to wrap this around. I'm going to leave it on the fibers right there and wrap it around a couple more times. And then pull this through. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Of course, comment below. And thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for day 12. And remember, every Monday at 3.45 p.m., I am live here on YouTube. Lots of love to you. Thanks for watching. Bye.